Hi guys, it's Shami. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little book. It's actually made from a jelly print um, and from an envelope. So they're super simple to make. You can customize them however you want. Now I did use a jelly print, but they're simple to make. Um, I just jelly printed on just plain white envelopes and then I just filled it in with a little bit of oil pastel and that's all I did. Okay. So what I have here is this is the envelope that I jelly printed on. Okay, this is how it looks. So all you're gonna do, I am going to use my bone folder, but I didn't use my bone folder for any of them before. You're just gonna take it and you just kinda wanna give yourself a point of reference. So you're gonna fold it in half so that it's somewhat even. You guys know that I'm not a stickler for that kind of thing at all. Okay, just, leave, just like that. Now here, I wanna create a little flap opening um, just so that you can stuff things in here it's like a little pocket and I might go and get some of those Varelco dots from the dollar store I don't have any now but I thought that would be a great idea I've been looking at those trying to find a justification for buying them so there is a line here so all I'm going to do is take my scissors and just trim that back okay now if you wanted to you could cover this with paper or paint the inside flaps. I'm not too worried about it, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and then here, if you don't want any white showing, what you could do is just take some paint. Maybe we'll use this pretty blue. I love this one. It's a deco arts one. Just like that. And I can just go around the edges. You could also use your oil pastels, which is what I did for the other side. And it just creates you know, a small little boulder. I like using my fingers. I have more control. I can blend things in a little better. So it looks more like it's part of the, the print. But you don't have to do that. It's good. Just like that. A little bit. Okay, just in the areas where you think it needs just a little bit more color. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and rub that in. And I usually always work under paper because I love the way it comes out. <laughs> okay, so once you're done with that, then we are going to do some stamping. Okay, and that's just to add another layer of texture. So I have a lot of background stamps. This is a French script one that I got from Highly Swab. I think it was on clearance at Michael's, so it was just a few dollars. So I'm just going to kind of load it up with waterproof ink or stays on whatever kind of ink you have. Just like that. And we are going to give it a stamp. And this just creates um, just even more visual interest. And that's kind of why I love using the jelly prints sorry, is because it does create um, tons and tons of interest naturally by itself. So you don't have to do too much work. I'm just going to take, now you can step up, stamp the back if you want. I'm not going to do that, but that's how it looks. Can you see the stamping? You can see that it has script. And this one I use kind of a flourish kind of stamp. So yeah, use whatever kind you want. Okay, so now we are gonna, now we need paper for the inside. So I am gonna get out my beautiful paper cutter <laughs> that I'm in love with. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, Monica. I love it so much. And I'm gonna get some plain copier paper. And I usually put about five sheets in these little books, but you can put as much or as little as you want. So there's just three sheets stacked up. And then um, I just measured the length or the width of my envelope, so from here to here, and it was about three, um, three and three fourths inches. Um, so I know that's how tall my paper needs to be. Now the width I'm not worried about because this is an eight by 11 sheet of copy paper, just standard size copy paper, so it's the perfect size to fit in. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's grab the paper cutter. So awesome. I love this thing. And we're going to go to three and three fourths inches. And you just want to make sure everything's stacked. Now, if you didn't have a good paper cutter like I do, 
<laughs> because I'm totally spoiled, thank you guys, um, then you could just do one sheet at a time and that will work out great too. Now I do tend to go over it a few times just to make sure that it cuts, even though it usually cuts on the first one. Actually, I just scored it. I forget that. Okay, let's do a three and one fourths, and I didn't have that measured right at all. There we go. Now let's give it a cut. There we go. There we go. And it's cool because one side scores it and the other one cuts it. Isn't that awesome? So it's super awesome. I love this thing. And we have three. Perfect. Alrighty. So let's do that again. Okay, so I'm just going to take my papers and stack them up together here. I just love this trimmer. It's so awesome. Lift this up, actually. Very cool. And the lines will not fade, like the one that I had from Recollections. It's so freaking annoying, but okay. That'll do us. So see, it cuts perfectly. It cuts very, very well. And then we can do this one too. I'll just stick that off. And let's cut this one down. That didn't quite make it, and it's because I was not using it right. So it was my boo boo. <laughs> but I just love this. It's so awesome. Very cool. Alrighty. So that's just going to score it. But if I go that way, we're going to get cut. Okay, so you're just going to do that until you have your five sheets of paper, okay? Just like that. Okay, so when you get those sheets, you are going to take them and just fold them in half. So you'll just take it and, again, you'll fold it in half, create a nice fold. And that's just a runaway one that I had because I double cut this one from earlier. But we'll just turn that off but it's perfectly measured, okay? Just like that. So you'll do that with five sheets, okay? That's all you're gonna do. So I have some that I already did from before. So there's five here. And all we're gonna do is just stack them on top of each other. I do have some paper clips too. Just makes it a little bit easier. And you can put as many as you want. I think five is probably a good number, so that's why I did five, but you can do as much or as little as you want. So I'm gonna put those flaps down. Then I'm going to take my paper clips, and I use a ton of paper clips. I'm gonna make sure that this is in the center where the fold is. And I'm just gonna paper clip mine down. And that just kind of keeps everything in place. It makes it easy for me to sew. Now I am gonna sew these just with embroidery floss that I got from the thrift store. I found a little pack of it, so that's what I'm gonna use. I loved making friendship bracelets when I was younger, so I wish I would have saved all that embroidery ribbon. <laughs> Crazy girl. So. This is not straight, this paper, so I'm going to take it and restack it a little bit. That looks better to me. Okay? Just like that. Dude, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be a little bit straight. Just like that. And just like that. And all I'm going to do is just take my pokey tool. You can use a, a needle if you need to, and that's fine too. That will work just fine. And I am just not even going to think about it. I'm just going to eyeball it and do two holes. But just for your information, I would go maybe about an inch or two in. And if you want to, you can mark it, but I'm not going to mark it. And then I'll just do kind of an inch away from there. Okay, just like that. So I have two holes. Can you see that? Easy beasy. Okay, and then I have these needles that have a large eye in them. And I have some embroidery thread that I got. Now I cut mine about five inches is what I normally do. And that just makes it so that I have a nice knot, enough room to knot it. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm just going to thread my needle. And I tend to just get it a little wet with my fingers and some water. Just makes it a little bit easier to thread. And of course you have to hold it close to your <laughs> close to your eyes too so you can see it. Okay, perfect. Oh no, I did I missed a thread. That's the only thing about embroidery thread, isn't it? Like you never quite get all the threads. At least I don't on the first try. <laughs> <laughs> I will get it eventually, but it takes a little bit. We're just going to take it and thread it through. So thank you guys for your lovely comments. I've just been, I'm sorry I haven't been able to answer your comments for the last couple weeks. I've just been really busy working on lots of important things that I'm sure you guys will love. That will definitely enhance your experience of this channel. So, okay, so now we're going to do some sewing very easily. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to start inside of my little journal. Okay, and I'm going to leave a tail. And that's just so I can tie it with. And I'm holding onto that tail and I am going to find that other hole and go right through all layers of that paper. Okay. Now I have a lot of yarn left over. Now how I'm going to tie this is I'm going to go to the edge of one of these holes and I'm going to make a knot. So just an overhand knot and I take it all the way there to that very, very end. Can you see that? Just like that. Then I'm going to take that and hold it and it can be a little bit tricky this part and I'm going to make just another knot. So just go over and under just like that. And while I'm still holding this very tight, I'm gonna go ahead and make that so it's nice and tight. And I always put it down at the hole. And then I'm just gonna cut it down, but not too low to where the knot's gonna come off. Hopefully that makes sense. And then right away, I'm gonna get some glue. And I'm gonna protect that knot. Because I don't want it to come undone. Okay, and this is just clear glue. And then I can go here in the back and I can make sure that that knot is protected a little bit. And after it dries, I can trim it down a little bit, but that doesn't bother to me too much. So that's the way it looks. Okay. So now we're going to do some fun stuff. Okay. So what I should have done before I put it together is I should have brushed it with a glossy um, deco page or Mod Podge. I'm going to use this collage podge. And that just gives it a really nice finish that I love. So that's what I'm going to use. You don't have to use that though. Let me grab one of my brushes here. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of just go over everything. I do recommend that you did that before, just so the inside of your book doesn't get messed up because it is white paper. <laughs> so yeah, you just wanna be careful of that. But I just smudged um, the front. You see all this, all that deep color. Um, that is from my oil pastels, which I love to use. So I just did that. You can do the inside if you want, but I'm not going to do that. And it just protects your little journal, you know, so whoever you're giving it to can really enjoy it. That's it. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to give that just a second to dry. And it's okay. I mean, they're gonna write on this page, and I'll keep this one for myself. <laughs> okay, just like that. Alrighty. So let's just give that a second to dry, and I'll show you the other one that I started. So this is the other one that I started. This one is with um, this stamp, which I found at the thrift store. It was two thirty-seven, and it's a really cool one. It has all these lines of cool pattern so I really like that one a lot. Now let me grab my blow dryer and then we'll give this a quick dry just to get things moving a little bit. So excuse the noise just for a second.
All right. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of reinforce that fold a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. So once we're done with that, we are going to take some washi tape. Now, I was very lucky to find black and white washi tape. Um, I think, where did I find it? I think it was at um, Tuesday mornings, and it was 79 cents for both rolls. And I love black and white washi tape, but it's, it's very difficult to find. And then I'm kind of cheap, like my washi tape has to be a good price. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up on the spine of my little journal here. And I'm just going to press it down. Now if you're worried about the washi tape coming up, what you can do is you can take your glue stick and just run some glue down there too. I don't recommend using a wet glue just because it'll take a little bit longer to dry, but you can absolutely use your glue stick. And I didn't quite center this the way that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and we'll apply some glue. Okay, just like that. But these books are so simple to make, and I hope you make them. If you've never tried journal making, this is a really great way to start and they're totally cute and you can use painted paper you can use scrapbooking paper it does not have to be jelly prints but that's what I had so that's what I'm using and you don't even have to use washi tape you could just use a piece of paper just like that okay and that just kind of protects my spine and it gives it a little bit of decoration too so I love the way that looks okay now for the cover I wanted to do something fun so, I was, I got these really cute little stencils that stick onto things. I think I got them from Michael's. They were a couple of dollars and they have like sayings on them. So I'm going to use those. I just need to think of one. Let's do friends. That's a good one. And they're self-adhesive, so they stick on stuff, which is really nice. You just have to be a little gentle with them, a little more gentle than I am. I'm just gonna take it and you stick it on your paper or whatever you're working on. And it's kind of the perfect size for these little journals and for all sorts of things um, that you can do. And here I just have some black paint. And I'm just gonna, oops, I always get too much black paint. Oh my gosh, okay. And I just have a makeup sponge here and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of it out of that color okay and then I'm gonna go in and stencil Very cool. okay and let's go in just with a little bit more paint you don't want to go too crazy don't add too much but I really want you to be able to see the word friend and we're gonna rip it off and say a prayer <laughs> And it says friends. It's not, you can't see it that well though, but it does say friends. Isn't that cute? It's totally cute. I love it though. Very cool. Awesome. Okay, so that's cool. And then for the inside flaps, I just like to put a few pieces of washi tape down there too. And it's just because it, the cursive's a little funny. But I love those little stencils. They're totally cute. And I'm so glad that I get to use them with a the project with you guys. So we're just going to take it and just because it's going to be kind of brushing against um, that edge. That's it. Then, and these would be great, you know, to have in Happy Mail to give to your artist buddies. I mean, they're so much fun to make. And I am looking for my scissors, which I just had. <laughs> what did you do with? Okay, good thing I have another pair. <laughs> close. I always have a couple pairs close. Because I am constantly misplacing my scissors, and there they are right there. You guys are probably like screaming, like, Shimmy, there's your scissors right there. But I really love black and white washi tape. I hope I can find some more. That would be good. I'll just kind of over the edge but it just adds a good contrast and you don't have to do the stencil in the front either um, so don't worry about that I mean that's fine and we'll do this and as I said this is just to protect the flaps a little bit uh, 
just to give it a little bit of protection and then it also matches the washi tape that we have on the front too so it's kind of like a double it has a double purpose if that makes sense and if you wanted to you could put the glue stick on this washi tape too but I'm not really worried very good and look at how quick we made a little cute journal so this is our little journal and it says friends, even though you can't really tell, but it does say that. <laughs> and then um, this is the back with all the stamping. So it's really beautiful. And this is the one that I made before. I used the polka dot washi tape on it and I did the word believe. So that one looks great. And I didn't put, I put this over my oil pastel, which I shouldn't have done because it kind of just washes away the words. But this one says believe. I just love it and it has the washi tape on the spine and then the inside I didn't paint this one because I really love this pattern and then I put the washi tape on the inside and as I said you can stick little goodies here for your little friend or whoever you're sending this to and it's so fun and they're super simple to make they're so easy and you could you know reinforce it a little bit if you need to and then that is the back and it's sealed too so I put oil pastel on there, but it's not coming off on my fingers, and that's why I always seal it with um, decoupage glue or Mod Podge, whatever you have. But hopefully you guys like this. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Monday with a video, and um, please leave me a comment, because I haven't talked to you guys for a while, and I will definitely have time. I'm teaching a religious ed class, the first one we're starting now, so I've been preparing for that too, but um, yeah, but I think after that's done, I will definitely have time to answer more comments, and you guys are awesome, and you're so patient with me, and I'm also working on the video too that you guys submitted of the pictures. I did some work on that today, so I'm super excited, and there's lots of other fabulous things that are coming up that I cannot wait um, for you to find out about. Okay guys, so um, I will see you next time. If you don't know, I'm teaching my first live class in Denver, so go check out the video. I will link it below. Um, if you're interested, if you're going to be in Colorado or if you live here, I would love for you to come to my first class. Okay guys, so have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!